name is Yi Chunjie, 57 years old. He was 23 to 28 years old when he committed the murders. He was living in Hwasong at the time too. He has been in a prison in Busan for the last 24 years for raping and killing his sister-in-law. For that, he was sentenced to life imprisonment with the possibility of parole after 20 years. Even though the cases were unsolved for a long time, all evidence collected at the time were well preserved to catch the murderer even after 24 years have passed. In July 2019, Using new DNA extraction technology, forensics found the murderer's DNA on the 4th, 5th, 7th, and 9th victims. Based on newly discovered DNA evidence, police scanned it with the DNA database of all criminals in prison and found a match with Li chun -jie. But it was too late. The statute of limitations for the Hwasong case had expired in 2006. Despite this, Li initially denied any involvement in the Hwasong crimes because he was expecting to be released on parole for good behaviour. After having talked with six profilers nine times and witnesses from the seventh and ninth case testifying against him, Li finally confessed to committing about 30 sexual assaults and 14 murders in total. He started raping and killing after being discharged from the army until he got arrested in 1994. It is a shame that the police couldn't catch him earlier to save many lives because of lack of technology and botched police investigations. In a court hearing, Lee has expressed his regrets and asked for forgiveness over his crimes. But does he really regret it? During his interview with one of the female profilers, he asked her, You have pretty hands, may I hold your hands? Can we forget the terrors of the Hwasong murders that haunted us for so long? But with the truth out in the light now, we hope that this can be a comfort to the bereaved families. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next video. Annyeong!